Believe it or not, we are halfway through 2021, so there's no better time to look at the best TV shows of the year so far. And look, you'd have to be living under a rock to have missed popular shows like Mayor of East Town, The Handmaid's Tale, and Godfather of Harlem. So we've decided to take a look at some of the best hidden gems you may not have heard of. So I'll kick things off with one of my favorite shows flying under the radar. It is called Fast Foodies on True TV. This half hour cooking competition features two rounds. In the first round, three chefs attempt to accurately recreate iconic fast food items like the sausage McMuffin, In-N-Out Burger, Cheesy Gordita Crunch, and KFC Fried Chicken. And in the second round, they're tasked with putting their own creative spins on the same dishes. Each episode features a different celebrity guest. It's fast, it's fun. You'll almost certainly develop a culinary crush on Chef Kristen Kish who has probably forgotten more about food than I'll ever know. Um, so highly recommend it if you're looking for a quick half hour, good time, need something to, to put on just to smile and, and have fun, uh, Fast Foodies is definitely for you. So Quam, what is your hidden gem? So my hidden gem that is also flying under the radar is Invincible. Uh, Invincible is a show that centers around 17-year-old uh, Mark Grayson and his transformation into a superhero named Invincible. It stars Stephen Yen as Mark and J.K. Simmons as Omni-Man, which is this show's version of Superman. Now, I think we're all you know really tired of superhero content. There's so much of it. But this is not your ordinary superhero show. It uh, puts a nice spin on the superhero genre. And it's actually really, really funny in a dark way. Uh, and it's also pretty, pretty violent. And that's like right up my avenue. Um, so if you love, you know, superhero shows that are, you know, darkly dark, that are dark humor, but also really violent, this show will be perfect for you. I should so, watch it probably Scott, because I love the boys. <laughs> yes, it is. It is similar to The Boys, but it's not like The Boys in that I don't think it's as heavy as The Boys. The Boys is very, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Uh, political, in a sense, uh, while Invincible is a lot more light, lighthearted, in a sense, and that it's more easy to consume and easy to just keep rewatching. I've been rewatching it since it's come out. I probably rewatched the season like three or four times already. Uh, this is because it's wow. that much fun. Wow. <laughs> Wow. wow, I know. <laughs> Scott, wow. what are some what is, what is, what is your, one of your, your hidden gems? <laughs> well, first off, I would just like to say that I would like to co-sign plus one and retweet all of the picks that you guys have chosen so far. Fast Foodies and Invincible are both fantastic. Um, but my pick is Hacks. Uh, which is on HBO Max. It is a fantastically dark comedy um, that follows this sort of dark mentorship that's forming between an aging Las Vegas uh, comic and this uh, somewhat entitled but outcasted 25-year-old uh, comedy writer who ends up working underneath um, Deborah Vance, who is this aging comedian who's played by uh, Gene Smart. And it's just so uncomfortable to watch at times how rude and terrible she is to this, this writer underneath her. But also it's, uh, the comedy is just fantastic. And I honestly can't say enough good things about it. Um, I don't want to give away too much because a lot of the scenes are just like, you have to watch them for yourself to really truly appreciate them. Um, but it's definitely worth watching just to, if you've ever wondered what it would be like for a... Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm gonna say her age, but she's pretty. She's elderly, right? <laughs> she's elderly at this point. It's fair to say. But yeah, she. If you want to see her and her younger um, cohort get totally stoned and run around a plastic surgery like compound, just totally gone girl and like making an absolute fools of themselves, that episode in particular is really great and a fun one to just jump in on. So highly recommend. Uh, Audrey, what is your under the radar pick for best of 2021 so far? Yeah, so Kwam uh, mentioned dark comedy, and I know David has watched this as well, but it's Made for Love on HBO Max. So imagine there is this like tech billionaire um, and his wife living in a beautiful compound, except it's really 
not a normal compound. It's like virtual reality. And he's keeping her a prisoner. And he injected a chip into her brain so that he can track her at all times and monitor all her thoughts and feelings. And then she escapes to her dad, the only person she could think of that may be able to help her. But her dad is Ray Romano. And he is living with his girlfriend, who happens to be a SEX doll and not a real person. And <laughs> don't laugh at me for censoring myself. I'm in my daughter's bedroom. So it's really funny and really random and weird. So it's a little bit like sci-fi, a little bit comedy, but like it's really unique. And I don't think it got enough praise when it was on. And I know David really loved it too. So I think everyone needs to give uh, Made for Love a shot. Oh. Yeah, Kristen Milioti <laughs> is is amazing in that. She was in Palm Springs, the the original movie on Hulu, I think last summer or late last year. Um, and Ray Romano is like such a standout, like just just incredible. Makes you laugh and cry, and uh, can't say enough good things about it. And Scott Jean Smart is having like a renaissance these days. She really is, and honestly, I couldn't be happier because she's just amazing and. Like we need more of that in the world, in my life for sure, and definitely yours. So like, just give us what we want. We want more Gene Smart. So like, <laughs> let's go, <laughs> let's go. It's a smart, it's a smart <laughs> choice. Yeah. Well, uh, you can check out more. Thank you. Uh, uh, you can check out more of the best shows of 2021 on both X1 and Flex by saying best of 2021 into your voice remote.